determine that. I'm sorry, what's your name again? Dan. Dan. So if Dan is our short 60 midi here and I'm the top center offensive player as the quarterback, you're in my chest here. So you're the one that would pinch heavy, okay, because I can get to your gloves. I'd be chasing the ball, right? We're always rotating into the ball. So if, his, if he's a righty, okay, his strong hand and his hips are opened up this way. Right. So our short stick D midi would be heavier on the pinch. Our LSM would be a little bit shorter. All right, if he dumps it and we pinch too far, our rotation is just up. Over, over, the slowest rotation we have is down, and then this man is getting to the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, now, if these guys do a good job and there's no threat, we don't need to rotate. Right. And that's that. Just yep. a five man wheel all the way around. Then you just keep on Now, if that. they do something like this crease is super high, then we just have to make sure that on the backside our LSM is covering two here. This man doesn't exist, right? He's the farthest away. He's going away, and we can bump our guy into the rotation. But that's just getting a little bit specific. So, and then the ball goes to the low corner on the left. Yep. So if the ball's here, I love this fucking war room. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coach. Hey, if the oh, ball's here, <laughs> this is re this is really no threat to yep. us in terms. Listen, of I'm going to shut this because I can't be interrupted in my meeting. Okay? <laughs> yep. Keep the splashes to a minimum. Well, okay. that's why I'm going to close the door. I have respect for the staff. <laughs> that's it. If, if the ball's down here, if it was passed down here from up top, it could be a threat. If the ball's worked around and we're set up, it can't really be a threat, okay. right? Because they're not dodging. There's no outlet behind. We're, we're obviously playing heavy to ball side as a man down unit. The only thing that'll change is we'll pinch into the backside a little bit. Our right. LSM, similar to what we would do with our two guys up here, is splitting, but he's ball side splitting. So this guy's farthest away, doesn't exist in our world. He is covering him up with his body and the stick's up in the pass lane. But if they were to skip this, his stick better be to the inside. We're ready to rotate there, okay, and rotate all the way around with our five men. So it's just everybody pulling each other on a string. Long middle runs are so well. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're boom, boom. Every yeah. single pass that happens, they're, they're rotating. They're rotating. This man kills you, doesn't he? Kills us. So we call him the quarterback. Everybody, that's not us. Everybody calls this man the center guy, the quarterback. The best thing you can do is make him uncomfortable each possession. So we'll do things like, you know, if I'm a lefty quarterback, okay, and you're the short 60 midi in this scenario, you know, I'm about to catch a pass, well, maybe we'll jump you because you're going to have to turn around or open up, right? Every offensive player saw so stick with your strong hand, quick passes. So we'll jump you, make you uncomfortable. Um, a great example of it um, is if, if you guys remember the 2016 game, Brown versus Navy in the quarterfinals, the NCAAs. Dylan Malloy. Yeah, so Dylan Malloy, he was hurt, but so yeah, Navy had, had this. The, Na yeah, mm -hmm. Navy had this awesome feeder, number forty, their senior attackman. He played the quarterback position, but all Brown did to him was every time he touched the ball, they just extended out. Eventually, they forced him to be playing from up here at the top of the box. These passes aren't available. So, he wasn't so if you're playing a team like Longmeadow, that's quick ball movement. Just bother, bother the transfer guy here. Bother him. But then don't you get eaten up by those corners, by the. Well, you're, gonna bother him. you're not going to lock him. You're going to get yeah. right back into position, but that's where we know our rotations, too. So really, it's just going to slow him down. It's just going to slow him down. So while this Oh, yeah, is so once that happens and it goes to that top right, that guy's jumping, and then you're sliding under. Yeah. And not even jumping. He's very under control. Yeah, yeah. But it's yep. the same rotation. And they rotate. And if they're too oh, slow okay. and this man comes out for an outlet, we just recover ball yep. to ball, and we're okay. So I, I'm thinking this year, the, the way they killed us, we, we couldn't even move the ball on defense. Right. They were shutting us down. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm. What's your thought? How would they play us on a one-four? Because if I put a guy backside, they can't rotate. In terms of um, man up. Yeah, if we're if, on. If, you, we're if East Longmeadow was playing a one-four-one one man up. Yeah, that wouldn't that screw up their rotation? Uh so they would rotate differently. So we have, for example, two different man downs. So and it's predicated on how many men are behind. So if there's two men behind or no men behind, we're in what you just saw. If there's okay. one man behind, we're in we're in a different. Show me what you down. play, because Westfield runs the one four. Mm -hmm. They'll run a one four one on man up. Right. So the big thing about one four one that you that the first thing that you notice too is they have minimal outlets, right? So there's only four guys catching the ball. If one of these do, you're in trouble anyway. All right. But so where do you want the ball to start? Put it at X. Come coming in from the end line. So we're right here. So we would have a man on the inside. Yeah. On the inside, okay, we're covering our wings, and that's four out of our five right there, right? So basically, we don't really cover the ball behind. So to 
avoid this skip pass being a huge option, right? If you were to set up flat and one down, yeah. okay, we don't worry about it the ball behind. Yeah. So what we would do is we would just bring our top guy down, a man inside, a man sitting GLE, and then our wings. So our wing shooters are the most dangerous things in a 1-4-1, if you play like this. If you play flat, this skip's going to be there all day. Yeah, yeah. The, da the dangerous part is the drive. The drive. So what okay. we do is this man is on the inside. If this man's no threat, he's just helping out inside, but his chest is to the ball. Yep. And our goalies is, of course, too, so there's a lot of communication there. If he starts driving, well, then he's just going to meet him and hold our ground at two yards below GLE, but nothing more. We're not worried about anything more because we're a man down. When that happens, this man is down on this guy. So now still, same 6v6, man down principles, leaving the farthest pass away. Right. If they move it through here, we have plenty of time to bump back. Right. If they skip it over the top, we just follow out and we bump. Okay. And the difference is so the, these the, sticks are always up into the inside, these sticks are always up into the middle. The, the top, whatever it is. Uh, He'll string like, down. He's dropping he's way He's dropping in. down. But obviously that's a huge pass. He's got to watch his man where he's cutting. Totally, yeah. totally. Right, right. But again, Farthest pass away versus a, a little layup on Correct. the crease. Correct. And, you know, in for us you, last you are year, in the struggle. You're man down. Right. And our, we, our wing defenseman out on the right side was helping too much with yeah. that. Yeah. And that skip then, pass and killed and us when they would dodge from a wing. For a That's shot. Where yeah. Toast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wing shooters are the most He's got to stay there. more home and rely on the crease. Yep. Mentor. Yep. Just get his stick up and in like this. Yeah. Cut the pass, the skip lane. Exactly. Exactly. For the zone, yeah, they, we were well, bringing they, him they, in too far. Westfield yeah, Westfield plays to skip, yeah, so well. And La Meadow not, killed us on that too. I mean, yeah. they would just drive for a wing well, and Campbell skip past it. He said, "All you got to do is go into a one four, and we can't shut you down. But we're not going to play backside, and you're going to at least get opportunities to look." Right. He said, "You guys are staying at three three, and we're just too quick for you." Mm -hmm. Right. You know? Three three is as good as that top center guy is. Right. If, they, if he's not dynamic, your three three is not dynamic. Bottom line. So your fastest guy, your best best stick, best feeder is going to be. He's a feeder. He's not a yeah. shooter. Yeah. All American Spencer Robbins. He was good. Right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, that